So guys, did you know Fonda also has an upstairs? Let's check it out. So this area is built as a cultural area, a small museum of sorts. So when we went to Mexico, we went to the Museum of Anthropology, which left a huge influence on what we wanted to do here. So the pieces which we thought are incredible, we brought them in. It's a very vibrant area, people love sitting here and we do a lot of events in this area as well. What are we having on the main course over here? So what we're having here is a steak. It's mm -hmm. called filet de res. Filet de res. It's I like uh, how slow it's cooked yeah. to perfection in uh -huh. a sous vide and finished on a flat top grill. Uh -huh. uh, it's served with a mole poblano sauce, oh. a sauce which Mexico is famous for. And this one is actually not from central Mexico. So this is one of the dishes which is not from the core cuisine area. It's pescado a la Veracruzana. Mm -hmm. It comes from the region of Veracruz, which is heavily influenced by Spanish cuisine. So mm. this particular fish is cooked in plantain leaf, yeah. but it has olives, capers, tomatoes, wow. onion, garlic, wow. which all come together to make this perfect fish dish. So the big question where we left, mm -hmm. Tex-Mex is not here. Why? So there are several reasons behind why no Tex-Mex. First, mm. Don't get me wrong, I love Tex-Mex food. I think it's a beautiful cuisine, mm -hmm. but it's a very different cuisine from Mexican, authentic Mexican cuisine. So it's a very different cuisine altogether. Mm -hmm. The use of yellow cheese in Tex-Mex as mm -hmm. opposed to fresh white cheese. I, I love the steak, the fact that from the outside it's pretty crispy and then and inside it's like slightly medium rare. It's really, really good. Very juicy, very soft. The mole sauce does the magic. You know, the compliment is just right. It's like a bit of what lentils and all that. So the authenticity, you know, the genuineness of it, you know. You can go to Mexico and meet people, this is that. But the recipe, you know, too detailed. As you say, you perfect all your drinks, your food and everything, you know. How, how did that come about, bro? Well, we went to Mexico. So mm -hmm. as partners, three of the four partners, we went to Mexico, learned how to cook for 10 days, rolling 18 hours of cooking every single day for those 10 days. Mm. We also went to a lot of restaurants and markets and really got the essence of Mexican cooking. We must have done about 30 or mm. tastings even before we opened the restaurant. So we essentially, every week we used to have two tastings where people would come in and try yeah. the food yeah. and give us comments on it and it was essentially trying something out and seeing if it fits the palate. So we keep our menu fairly small while we keep adding dishes. So we celebrate anything Mexican. If there's a small festival in Yucatan, which is actually coming up soon, we will celebrate it. If it's a maize harvest festival, we'll celebrate it. If it's Day of the Dead, we'll celebrate it. And we will do dishes which are big on those festivals. Wow. So we really celebrate Mexico and mm -hmm. anything Mexican. Well, what people love is tacos, right? Tacos, that is yeah. what people know of That's Mexican what everyone food. knows, yeah. And they're just flavorful. There's, mm. We have, at any given time, we have 15 mm. to 16. Which is really awesome, by the way. Diff Thank it's you. very uh, <laughs> different, right? It's like, yeah, it's beautiful. People love it. It's very different. It's, it's a unique taste, trust me. Yeah, please, so, go ahead. So we have 15 to 16 stuffing, mm. generally 7 to 8 vegetarian, 7 to 8 our meat uh, stuffings for our tacos. Mm. They're very flavorful, they're amazing. They make such a good addition to a drink. Yeah. Essentially every single day, especially on weekdays, there's something going on. So we yeah. have the Taco Tuesday, where yeah. guests get 20% off on a Tuesday. Mm. We have the Margarita Wednesday, where uh, guests get 15% off on Margarita. And chill out on Thursdays, then we have specials for lunch. Yeah. But what we are also working on are uh, salsa nights. So that's something which we're going to do very regularly. Um, and then we have Soul Chat with Bonja, which is happening, where we're going to discuss a specific topic. So there's always something going on. So if you guys want information on it, just go to our Facebook or Instagram page. It's all there. Or shoot us an email and we add you to our mailing list. 
So, you know, I was so excited. I just forgot mm-hmm. about my therapy years. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing thing about Mexican cuisine is inherently it's gluten free. Cheeses are used, but they're put on the top. Mm. So it becomes friendly for people who can't take milk products. Nuts, there are only certain dishes, the complicated one like the mole, yeah. which have nuts in there. Yeah. So essentially, we are able to handle any and Even when you dish. have it, you can't tell it. There are a lot of nuts. You won't, yeah, so, mm. so it's just flavorful food, which doesn't really, which biggest issue which people have right now is gluten. And, 95% of our dishes are gluten free. So pretty much every menu item, there is always a vegetarian option mm-hmm. or a meat option. We're leaving few dishes, so we literally have every dish which can be catered to vegetarian. The only thing which we can't do or can do with one, two days uh, notice is without onion and garlic. Okay. So onion and garlic make the base of any Mexican dish. Awesome guys, I am like, oh, I'm stuffed, it's <laughs> heavy, it's good. If you're wondering why I haven't said I have feel now, because I've been so busy enjoying these stories over here, you know, yes, the bit of that. He's always here, you'll find him. And trust me, you can just keep you entertained for hours and hours until you're like, okay bro, let me now do something and say I have Fonda ambience is just awesome. I just love the fact that it's different. As soon as you enter in, you feel like you're in Mexico. Because of the atmosphere, it's like you know proper street vibe over here. You know, nice hype music going on over here. The, the buzzing when you come in, you see the bar over there, you see the kitchen there. There's so much activity going on over here. It's like it's like a buzz, 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 buzz. You know, even the kitchen is pretty noisy. Just that right now, I told them, you know, <laughs> calm down, Kidogo. Okay, yeah. So guys, this place is awesome. It is. Anyway, come check it out. That was in Riviera on the top floor. And if you're wondering why is the sweet food. We'll have some dessert in the next episode.